So Mike, I'm, I'm no stranger to vertical jinging. I've done a lot of it for lake trout back in Maine, but you know, it seems like what you're describing is a little bit nuanced. So just maybe run me through, you know, how it's different, you know, and how someone should go out and, and jig for king salmon. Yeah, so first it's, it's, in my opinion, the best way to catch a king. I mean, we're essentially using uh, medium action spinning rods you would, you would use for walleye fishing or bass fishing, 3,000 size reels, 20 pound braid, and you can use a variety of kind of jigging spoons. Uh, another good item to use is uh, gulps, jerk shads, five inch jerk shad, these white jerk shad here on a darter jig hat are really good too. And it's different in that, you know, a lot of times if you've, if you've jigged for like walleye, a lot of times you're like really snapping it, you know, you're just really ripping it off. You jigging for tuna, you're just, you know, yoinking away. And some guys will do that for these salmon, but I've found I've had a lot more success in just more subtle lifts and drops, lifts and drops. Um, the idea here is we're trying to just agitate them to the point where they just strike to get at, you know, the annoyance, right? It's dangling in their face long enough, they'll eventually just swipe at it. There's fish around here, they're swimming through here. You look for some key kind of setups to do this. The major one I look for is when these fish pot up and they're just sitting in one spot and they're just potted up it's lights out the next best situation which is what we have here is we found this kind of fish highway and these salmon migrate through into these harbors um through these kind of just past you'll always find them in this area and, and, and i just call them fish highways um and i've located one earlier we trolled i've caught my three fish and i found that this area they were holding here. Now they're not potted up per se, but they're constantly swimming through here in a small group of like two or three. And so the goal here now is to sit here and as they transition through this fish highway, we're able to pick some off. Now, these fish highways, is it usually determined by structure or you know, is it a little bit willy nilly for the, for the salmon returning to, to the harbor? It's not so much structure here because I mean, this close to the harbor and the marina, it's pretty flat. It's just, we're in a little bit deeper water and 36 feet of water, and you've got fish coming your way. So you see them over there. Awesome, send them over. Yeah, I know, give a quick jerk up. Usually I'll trigger them. Um, yeah, there's nothing like that here. This is just the most direct route in from open water straight into the marina, right? Cause we're just east of the harbor mouth. The river's in there and they eventually, when we get a big rain or if we get a, a temperature change in the water, then they'll start shooting up that river to go do their spawning. So you're only allowed one jigging lure the rest of your life for king salmon. What would it be? Um, wow. You know, honestly, the jerk said five inch white on a darter jig head. It's tried and true. It's a staple here for jigging for, for kings. Can't go wrong with it. There's many other kind of, uh, you know, things you can use to jig, like j uh, jigging spoons and stuff like that. But that white uh, jerk shad is just, uh, yeah, it's just my favorite. It's put a lot of fish in the kayak. Oh, a lot of fish right, right below yeah, us right now. Yeah, you're on them. Listen, I'm like Stockton. You're like Malone. I've set you up, bud. You, this is, it's on you now. <laughs> it's mine to mess up. Uh, I, well, no, nah, it's just You know, that fish. darter jig isn't, you know, isn't too far off from what I'm using for lake trout. And, you know, this, this lake's also known for lake trout. Are, are people vertical jigging for lakers with the same techniques? Some people might, but most people are generally um, trolling. So you don't see a lot of people jigging for them. But I do think, and I've done it, um, the best, one of the best times to do it is in the, in the spring period. When that water's cold and they'll actually come in real close to shore, uh, depending on, you know, and then we got a lot more down in Chicago in the southern basin, like Indiana, Chicago, or Illinois waterways. Um, they come right in real tight to the break walls, to the, you know, the, the marinas and the harbors, and uh, that is the great time to go ahead and jig for them. And I just had a hit. 